Hello, welcome to Just One Civil. In this tutorial, we will learn about inflow forecast using Thomas Firing model. Inflow discharge in the river is required for planning, management, and operation of the water related project. But the discharge data at a particular location may be limited or may not be available for all the time. Suppose we need to create a dam here in this river and we need the discharge data of this place but of the future date for our planning and management but we don't have the data so what we do is prediction of the data and we take help of the previous available data at this station that is the historical data so it is required to use the historical inflow data to extend the inflow now it is also required to preserve the historical characteristics historical characteristics in terms of statistics means mean medium standard deviation these characteristics should be preserved like if the mean of the previous existing historical data was x bar then the new predicted data or simulated from the thomas firing model should also be somewhere near about this x bar and same for the standard deviation this will help us to know that the prediction is in the right direction you can see this figure here the mean of every month is almost same this is for the predicted and this is for the observed data previously observed data so from the observed data you find one mean and standard deviation from the predicted data you find one mean and standard deviation now this is the observed data and this is the predicted so when you take the mean of this data you should observe something like this almost similar for every month that is the historical data is historical characteristics has been preserved thomas firing model here the flow is predicted using thomas firing model it is auto regressive model auto regressive means suppose we have q discharge 20 30 40 20 10 now what we do is lag this discharge by time 1 t minus 1 we get 20 here 30 40 30 So this will be here 20 and 10 here. Now we get this Q T minus 1. Now when we draw a graph at x axis and y axis, if we put time here and Q here, we will get something like this curve. That is the curve of the discharge. But instead of doing that, what we will do is put Q here and Q t minus 1 here so we uh, what we are doing is regression of the same data on itself q and by lagging it by q t minus 1 so regression of it on itself is q minus 1 when you plot here you will get data here 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 and when you draw the line using the least square technique When you draw the line using the list, list square technique, you will get a straight line. That is the regression line. Regression of Q on itself simply by lagging by T minus 1. So it is auto regression model. It can also be regarded as stochastic model. Stochastic model because there is a parameter used in this equation which is random variable. And stochastic means use of random variable. this is the random variable we abstract from this bell shaped curve which is nothing but the normal curve where mean is 0 and standard deviation is 1 so from this we will extract the z value 
Now in this equation you can see i and j plus 1. This is the suppose you make a table where this is year 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005 and here you will write month January, February, March, April, May, June up to December. This is December, January, suppose this is 2001, 2, 3, 4, 2005. Then in this case, I means if this is I and this is J plus 1, that is February is J plus 1, then J represents, this J represents January. So this is J plus 1, then this is J. January is J and in the similar manner it will proceed forward. So J plus 1 means if J is January, then J plus 1 is February. If I is 2001, then I plus 1 will be 2002. But here we have only I and J plus 1. So January and February, we will take the data of 2 months. This is in this way you can read this equation. Yux bar means mean. This is the data we are going to predict that is Q value, inflow value or discharge value we are going to predict. So here in the earlier example 0, 01 and here January, February. We need to predict for February. For that we need to already know the value of Yux IJ which is the flow of January. It must be known. Then only we can predict the future value. This is also the mean of J. J means here we already say it is January. So mean of these all Januarys will be written here. That will be here. This is for the random variable. This is the standard deviation. This is the coefficient. Here you can see the meaning of these are written the regression coefficient is represented by bj which is between the jth and the j plus one month if jth month is january and this is february then january and february extracted from the historical data and updated as we keep on predicting for the new data and this is lag one serial correlation coefficient lag one means it is lagged by Q, just say like Q, Q, T minus 1, they are lagged by only T minus 1. If it is T minus 2, then lag 2 and so on. Here only T minus 1, so it is lag 1, serial correlation coefficient. You can find mean using this formula, standard deviation, regression coefficient and lag 1 correlation coefficient n is the number of observations. Now we will use a software where we will have two parts one simulation and another is optimization. For optimization part there will be n iterations. We need to enter the number of iterations we want to carry out. The software will carry out the iterations and it will find out the best R square value. It will find out two things one Nash efficiency and R square but based upon the best R square value it will find the best model and that model will be accepted as the best model after running n times the Nash efficiency threshold must have been crossed the threshold is if 0.7 then the best R square value which also is greater than 0.7 Nash efficiency will be our best model and since flow cannot be negative in this code, it is replaced with the minimum observed value of the corresponding month. This is the flowchart of the program. You will input the observed data that is calibration data and validation data. Then calculate the parameters using the bottom of the programs. Then generate random variables, predict the flow. Up to this much, it is simulation. Now for iterations or optimization, you need to enter the number of iterations you want to carry out. Longer the iterations, more the time it will take. And then it will calculate the parameters for each iterations, generate the random variables, then predict the flow and keep on doing so until the number of iterations ends.
then it will find the best model within that n number of here thousand is written but it is n number of iterations and the comparison will be made of the mean as we saw in the earlier figure here the comparison of the mean shows almost equal value for the predicted and the observed so it is okay it will indicate a good fit of the data now let's see how it works in the software you can go to this link click on repositories it will be also given in the description link click on here go to code and download it as zip file now when you extract it and then open it you go to the software folder here you will see csay reservoir click it double click to open this is the interface you must have this dot network installed or higher model thomas firing model proceed now these are our input files for calibrations let's see you have to enter your data here you have to enter your years and here your months remember don't forget to repeat this don't forget to repeat this at the bottom of the file because the program will read from january to january the same data is repeated here now year starts here this is i i equals to 1964 1965 1966 1967 and so on and j is equals to january february march april may up to december and so on so here we will only take this is the total data we will only take only 30 data thirty for calibration and remaining for validation you can see here count is 30 so up to 1993 we will take 30 data starting from 1964 in the software go to about how to simulate and how to optimize enter the number of years in the calibrations so in the calibrations we will enter number of years is equals to 30 we have 30 data for calibrations and starting year would be 1964 now then click the input from excel calibration and validations do the same for validation as well for the validation we will have 13 data but it should be kept in a separate file because the program will read only starting from this point For your data, simply prepare your data in this format and copy and paste your data here. So for validation, our starting data will be 1994 and number of data would be 13. Now we want to predict the data. We will start predicting it from 1965 because we will have the data of this January here. And 1965 from starting 1965, we will predict up to like 60 years and see how it works. Then once you import the data, enter how much you want to predict, then click on the parameters, calculate parameters, then generate the random variable, predict the flow, plot the graph. That is the simulation part. For the optimization part, enter the number of here, enter the number of iterations, then click on optimization. After optimization, click on use of Z optimized and then plot the graph. That is the optimization part. 
let's start here we have 30 data starting from 1964 you can see here the calibration data now import calibration only 30 data will be imported if the data is bigger it might take a little longer now you can see here the data has been imported successfully similarly for here number of data is equals to 13 1994 the data ends here 1993 you can also use any data which you have available For prediction, we will predict 60 years starting from 1965. Then, here you are asked to enter the December data of 1964. 1964 December data 49.7. Enter here 49.7. Now, we have imported this data now click on calculate parameters these parameters are calculated for calibrations data mean standard deviation regression coefficient and correlation coefficients this is the repetition of above data this is the random variable you keep on clicking and it will keep on changing so you don't know which gives the best value so we optimize it for that iterations only so the optimization works only for that number of iterations now once you have generated it click on predict values here you will have the predicted value this is the predicted flow you can see here 1965 january to december 1966 and you will get it up to 2024 because we have predicted for 60 years Now plot the graph. This is the graph. You can see here the dotted blue line represents the predicted data starting from 1965. It is the observed data. And then dotted red represents the validation. You can see here the NAS efficiency 0.92. Up to the calibrations only. Up to validations 0.8753. You can see here calibration the calibration part only the validation part only the base has been captured some peaks has been captured some has not been captured but the efficiency is okay and calibration and validation part then all part now to improve this efficiency if this is not the best then you can get a slight improvement in this efficiency or even maybe more improvement based upon the generated random variable now let us optimize now i will use only 10 iterations because the number of iterations increases the time it takes to calculate also increases click on optimize Optimization completed for iterations is equals to 10. Best model found. Click OK. Now click on use optimized result. Now plot the graph. So for the given iterations, you got the optimized result. So you can get slight more or slight less. Now again you can run for the next 10 iterations you will get a slight different answer. So every time you run this model you will get a different answer. Now you can use the best result here. Export it all cells. Once you export it to the PDF save this value. Now when you use the same U value you will always use the 
same result but you keep on generating this different value and you will always get the different result so you don't know when you will arrive at the best result so this is how the thomas firing model works generate you predict the value keep on doing so until you are satisfied with the result you can also optimize it again to get the best result which may be more or less similar now you can see the parameters the parameter seems to have been preserved of the historical data here predicted data is this blue and observed data is this it is the bell shaped curve now you can see here in every month it is almost same slight difference here so this is how you can use the thomas firing model and this software to calculate it prepare the data input the data and then you will get the result now you can export it as well export this as well and save it for your result save the best result and you can use it always by copying and pasting the result here only you need the u values the remaining will be calculated itself so thank you for watching please subscribe like share and comment for any further queries and please click on the bell icon to get the notification